Welcome to the screencast of using Carbon Secure Vault to secure plain text passwords in WSO2 products. I am Manisha Ileparuma, a software engineer in WSO2. Today, I will talk about what is Secure Vault and the elements of this process. Then, I will demo how to apply Secure Vault in your deployment with your own key store. If you check a WSO2 product and if you go into the product home, repository, conf directory and open up the configuration files, you will see there are sensitive information such as admin passwords, database connection passwords, etc. Secure Vault is the mechanism to hide this sensitive information from files by introducing some encrypted values along with aliases instead. Carbon Secure Vault is a modified version of Synapse Secure Vault. As I stated earlier as well, it allows you to encrypt the passwords and map them into aliases. When the configurations are initialized at runtime, the product will look up for those aliases in the Secure Vault instead of the actual passwords and then decrypt them to retrieve the passwords. This allows a better security to your configurations in the deployment, since no one cannot see the plain text password values anymore. For the above explained mechanism, there are several components associated. They are Secret Repository, Secret Manager, Secret Callback and Secret Resolver. If you look at Secret Repository, this is a file-based secret repository which is shipped in default with the product and stored in ciphertext properties file located in the product home repository conf security folder. This repository is used by the secret manager to store the encrypted values and passwords. In the file, it holds a mapping with aliases versus the encrypted values, then the secret manager. This initializes the secret repository and the key store configurations for the Carbon server. It is the secret manager who accesses the secret values stored in the above mentioned ciphertext properties file using the aliases. Key store required to decrypt the ciphered values and the name of the secret repository are kept by the secret manager in the secret conf.properties file which is found in the product home repository conf security directory. The third one is the secret callback. This provides the actual password for a given alias. There is a secret callback handler which is combined with the secret manager to resolve the secret. Any callback can be written by implementing the secret callback handler class. Finally, the secret resolver. Any configuration that uses secret information needs to initialize the secret resolver when building its own configuration. The secret resolver keeps a list of secured elements that needs to be defined in the configuration with secret aliases. Secret Resolver initializes the secret callback handler class which is defined in the configuration file. Now we will move into the demo. I'm going to show you how to add Secure Vault to WSO2 API Manager 1.7 server. You need to check for a couple of things as prerequisites. Number one, necessary configuration files for the secure vault. Number two, a separate key store to be used for ciphering. If it is an enterprise deployment, then it is recommended to use your self-signed or CA certified keys and key stores for ciphering instead of the default JKS files provided in the carbon product itself. If we check for the configs, we need to make sure we have ciphertext properties, cipher tool properties, and the secret conf properties files in the server. By default, API Manager does not contain these required configuration files for Secure Vault. So, you have only the secret conf properties file. So, you can either copy them from another WC2 Carbon server. Or download those files from our SVN repo. So now I will get those missing files from ESB and place them in the repository conf security directory. 
so I will go to the ESB and uh, repository con so I will copy the cipher text properties file and put it into the API managers respective directory and we'll do the same for the cipher tool properties file now you have all the files now you can go back to the repository resources security directory and I will create a key store to be used to cipher the values using the command key tool minus gen key pair minus alias screen cast reg will be the alias and key algorithm RSA and key store screencast reg JKS and the key size I will give as 2048 like this I will create the key pair give a password and uh, re-enter it so it will ask for some attributes so you need to fill up those details organization the city country code now you have the newly created JKS. Now you need to refer to this key store in uh, Carbon XML by changing the element registry key store. So put the new values to the key store name uh, that is the key store location alias and the password. So I will give the new key store name So when you try to cipher a plain text password, the runtime is always referring to this registry keys to element in Carbon XML. And take these values as the keys to data to be used to encrypt the password values. So let's say you need to secure API Gateway Password in API Manager XML. API Gateway Then you need to specify that particular plain text password in the secret repository that is the ciphertext properties file. So uh, if you open up the ciphertext properties file in API manager home repository conf security directory security ciphertext properties so you will see a bunch of plain text passwords of the system and you will see the required element is commented out the API gateway password and also open up the cipher tool properties file so here you need to specify which files which values should be ciphered the locations of the values are given in this file as you can see they are given as XPath expressions and if you check for the API gateway password property it reads that this property is in API Manager XML under API Manager Elements, API Gateway Elements, Environments, Environment, and inside the password element. The word true depicts that if any of the XML elements start with capital letter, 
you say true the element order so it is the API gateway environments environment and uh, password and all the elements are starting with capital letters so that is why we have specified it as true in here we will uncomment the API gateway password entry in this file all the other entries that are default uncommented also will be encrypted during the process go to the cipher text properties file and uncomment the API gateway password there as well and you need to enter the admin password of the API gateway node since it is admin in my case I will leave it leave it as it is now we are ready for the ciphering process. Now go to the API Manager Home and go to the bin directory and type the command cipher to sh minus d configure. Give the key store password. You will see these have been successfully encrypted. Now open up the ciphertext properties file. Ciphertext properties and check the API gateway password entry. So you can see the plain text passwords is now replaced with an encrypted value. Also open up the API Manager XML and check the element. So this too has been replaced with uh, an alias value. Now the encryption process is over. So let's start the server and see whether it is resolving properly. When the server is starting up, it will ask for a password of the key store and you need to give the registry key store password value. So once given the password, it starts up the server successfully. So now the server is started successfully. So let's say you are going to start the server as a background process because in all the production major deployments, the enterprise deployments, you start the servers as background processors. Then you have to save the registry key store password in a file called password temp in API Manager Home. So I will shut down the server. Go to the API Manager Home. And I will create the password temp file, password-tmp file, and uh, put the registry key store password there. Create keys. Save the file. And now uh, the file is there. So you can go to the bin directory and uh, start the server as a background process with start option. So it will read the password from the temp file and if you check the logs, the server is starting up. And if you go to the API manager home, you will see the password temp file is automatically deleted. So that's it for today and you can read more and uh, test more about Carbon Secure Vault if you visit docs.wsu2.com site and go to the Carbon Secure Vault section. Mm -hmm.